I was in Florida, so hot. Now I. That was a good early morning. Goofing on my back. So, yeah. But, anyways, y'all, let's go to work. Let me see that one, Tamiya. I know. Let me see what it says. Good morning everybody welcome back to another vlog welcome back to the rose house in this week's vlog you're gonna be rocking and rolling it with me because i'm gonna try to take you guys everywhere with me this week i'm gonna try to take you guys everywhere with me so today is the first day of april so happy april to you all happy april fools day april one and i hope you guys by the time you guys see this video i hope you guys probably prank somebody or whatever the case is but don't go too hard right so y'all april the best month of the year like duh. so excited because normally like every april one it feels like my new year i know the new year is january one but for me april feels like a month of renewal a month to get it together well i should have been getting it together before and be ready for april one but y'all know what i mean right um hold on guys good morning welcome to starbucks my name is lori can i get started with breakfast today sure um can i have a tall caramel macchiato is that gonna be hot or right hot okay what else for you um with non-fat milk okay. and a banana nut bread it's okay if we warm it up for you yes and then a tall caramel macchiato, not that milk was hot, right? Correct. Okay, perfect. Anything else today? That's it. 9.52, my friend. We'll see you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. So... April feels like a month for me, feels like a month of renewal, you know, time to get it right. Like once it hits April, it's like I go into go mode because to me, the end of the year is like right upon us. That's how I feel. And then sometimes I set goals that are achievable. Sometimes I get a little cuckoo in my brain and, 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 and set unachievable goals. You know, for the new year, uh, we've done our vision board party and we need to go back so for the persons who do, who have done the zoom vision board party with me it's now time we've gotten three months three full months out of the year so it's now time to go back and see what we've really achieved and i know some persons have already achieved i'm smiling i know some persons have already achieved a huge part of what um they wanted um i don't want to get emotional <laughs> i wanted on their you know what they had on their vision board so i'm proud of that and congrats to you again and i hope you know everything works out for you you know yourself so april is a month of renewal for me april is my new season april is when i find tiana again april is when if i've lost it i had to i have to find my way um so happy april to y'all and to the april lights the person's born in april i want to say happy birthday to you all happy new month um you know it's just yesterday was easter sunday and i was watching you know there some resurrection videos and stuff on tiktok and you know easter just where easter is positioned in a way this year where it doesn't really give us much leeway like you have to get it right because easter sunday and then boom it's a new month you know so you gotta get it right so i just want to say happy birthday to all the persons born in april and happy new month to you all i hope this month brings you joy brings you peace brings you 
um, financial reset, financial stability, um, physical, emotional, health and wealth and everything good. I pray that it comes to you this month and forever on. So my birthday is uh, 17 days away. And, you know, after my 30th birthday, I've achieved, I, I mean, I've achieved a lot before, but after my 30th birthday, I've not really done much for my birthdays when it comes on to my birthday. I normally go like in ghost mode and just do a lot of reflection. Last year on my birthday, I was going through a lot and I remember I was sad, but I was happy that I lived to see another birthday and, you know, I just want to give God thanks for that um so i haven't really done much on my birthday and i'll probably keep it that way this year i don't know let's see i know i'm definitely not planning anything but that's that for the most part so april 18 is when this beautiful god bless gem was born and um you know just gotta give thanks for another year um we're getting up there in age we're getting up there <laughs> uh yeah so this morning i literally just dropped chris at the truck and um he got up his alarm went off at four that's the time when we were supposed to leave out for me to drop him and then come back to the gym but babe said no i'm sleeping on my bed so we got up at 606 got ready and we're off to work so he's off to work and i'm off to work and the kids are home today because today's this week is spring break so I get to grind a little and something exciting is coming today y'all something exciting is coming today so today I actually that's why I need to get to work now it's crunch time because today I actually start my semi semi-glutide journey again y'all so yes I actually start my journey again um today and I'm so excited for that super excited and um you know it's a new month a new year for Tiana so new achievements, new journey, new everything. Hold on guys, I need to scan my card so I can get my Delta points. Now, this month is very eventful. So it's my dad's birthday. So for those who didn't know, I am like my birth a birthday gift to my dad. So we are four days apart. So it's my dad's birthday. And this year we are celebrating his birthday. So I um, we're gonna be in New York for his birthday. And I'm so excited for that so excited um you know when you live when you live to see your parents live to get to a certain age and they're healthy blessed strong you have to give god thanks and thank you god thank you god for my mom my dad and my stepdad thank you god for that guys when i tell you i have great parents I have great parents and not until I was I'm older and I'm you know exposed to other people parenthood and other persons who have not so good parents I would not have known because I can't give a test to bad parent team right so God is so good I have really 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 good parents and I, I mean i don't just mean good parents just because they take care of you i mean support support and i've been so blessed and thankful because just like how supportive my parents are god gave me a supportive spouse so thank you jesus for that i can't give him enough praise for that I sometimes I'm, I may come off as not ungrateful let's use privileged but it's not that I'm privileged it's really and truly because I don't know better you know I don't know less of what my parents gave me not until I talk to somebody and I'm like damn then who did my mother have to do that you know so and I don't compare but I know y'all I don't compare so you know I, at no point in time i want to seem ungrateful or you know not appreciative of what my parents have done for me so i just want to take the opportunity to tell them that i love them so much so so much my mom my dad my stepdad 
love them so much without them i would not be here right now not physically but where i am in life so i want to really give god thanks for them i mean i want to get emotional and i mean i want to get emotional but sometimes you just have to let it out and let you know your parents know how much you love them and if you are one of those persons that probably don't have a good relationship with your mom or your dad and you find it in yourself to forgive them go ahead and forgive them because sometimes they themselves not even know what they do you know so let's forgive right let's forgive i read my daily bread this morning and one of the things that it said it said how can i be a good wife and a good mom if i am not giving myself the grace that i deserve and that resonated with me so much because i struggle with that you know i struggle with i am a good mom i am a good wife but when it comes down to being a good person like being fair to myself that's my struggle so that was a good early morning goofing on my back so yeah but anyways y'all let's go to work I've been there before Only for fight to fight Remember the darkest part of the night It's just before daylight Oh God, choose that tip, me. Pull up, pull up, pull up Y'all, this is my favorite song from Romain's album My favorite song I listen to it every day So me never stop saying no cry no pain From the day of my life begun A little bit of tears run What if I find the fight But I need a thousand books to write Oh yeah Tonight It's just before daylight That's my song y'all If y'all are having a bad day and you want some motivation, listen to this song, I Believe, by Romain Virgo. You're a damn good person. If nobody told you, I'm going to tell you right now, you are a good person. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise, okay? No, don't do that. Blessing and follow you. Rain is a rain for you. And your cup overflow. Please wear the rain. So listen, baby. Let's go to work, y'all. It is 8.03. Let's go to work. Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love to watch you. And I, and I, I 
Alexa, play gospel music. This is still to me, my vibe. Gospel Now Radio on Amazon Music. Arrived. Destination is on your left. blood now um, hopefully it doesn't hurt and she's not gonna cry I'm not <laughs> like why <laughs> I think as females we have done this so many times mm -hmm. it's like another one and yep. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I got you. I'll change my mind. <laughs> All right, one more, one more. Good. She did good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just go back to. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you.
How are you? I'm okay. So you want to start your weight loss journey? Yes. And I see you. So you've already done semi glutide before. Yes. So when was the last time? Uh, I ended in September. I started March of last year and ended in September. Oh, okay. So just last year. Yeah. And did, would you say how much uh, weight did you? Lose? I lost around 28 pounds. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. March, April, May, June, July. So it was like six months. Yes. Okay. And let me see. 2023, six months. Okay. And so let me tell you how our program works. Mm -hmm. So I say. I'm just waiting on her. Okay. Yes. Alright y'all, so I just finished my consultation, so I think I'm gonna start a shot on when is it? Wednesday because they have to read my labs and make sure everything is okay, you know, thyroid or whatever. So she's actually preparing the medication now to give it to me, but then I'll start taking it when they call me on Wednesday. So that's good. So they give me four doses and I'm gonna inject, give the, give, I'm gonna inject myself. And yeah, so back on this journey. It seems like every year this time I start up, but here we go. Here we go again. So when I get into the vehicle, I'll explain to you guys more. So I am finally home, y'all, after a long day, and I look tired. I'm about to go eat my dinner Ooh. and go sleep. So, of course, y'all know I'm going to show you guys what I got at um, Whole Foods, right? So, yeah, the first thing I got was is this chai rubus tea. I actually bought it for mommy because I'm like, you know what, I'm going to buy it and put it down. We went to this place i don't remember what we did like two vlogs at that place one with mommy and i we went there the other day paris baguette that's the name of the place and they had this tea and mommy loved it and then of course because it's the first time she was trying it we did some research on it and they said it was very good and we've been searching for this ever since um i know it came in the yogi brand but i could not find it in walmart so Went to Whole Foods, found it, so I took one up. So I'm going to start drinking it. I'm going to start drinking it. So I'm going to have a cup of this right now. And then I got some um, butter chicken uh, non bite. So it's very vegetarian. Um, so it's like non bread. I love non bread. Love all the flavors of non bread. So it's non bread filled with vegetarian butter chicken and garam masala spicy so this is um this is gonna be very good i don't have to ask and then i tried tenny with this from the last haul she liked it the apple so today i got her the peanut butter and chocolate chip and they're oat bites and then i also got her the strawberry because you know it's a win-win once she likes something you know we have a bite again different food. then i got her some yogurt as well and I got some orange juice for the kids. Let me show y'all. Yogurt too. Yeah, them only eat chobani, so I got the chobani. And I mean, they say Whole Foods is expensive. I get it; it is expensive, but it was the same price. It was a dollar something for the chobani. Same price as Walmart. And um, pull over all of the chocolate. Oh, okay. So I got this um Maya Kamal. Um, we used to eat not this brand, it was the other brand in the yellow, 
We used to eat it a lot, but I've seen, I saw this one and I said, I'm gonna try it. It's plant-based protein. It's chickpeas, tomato, and onion. Now, as I said, we eat a lot of quinoa, a lot of, a lot of couscous, a lot of chickpeas. Like I have a whole bowl of quinoa in there. So I got this so I can cook it with probably some, add it to some noodles or whatever for Miss Tenno. All right, and we can have it too. And then I got some um meatballs for the girls. And this is beef meatballs, Italian style. Put that in the fridge, mama. And I always make sure I have broth regardless if it, it's, yes. I want everything to be in this fridge so I can see because when it's in the freezer outside, I yeah. remember so we have it. Because even the falafel, when it, more you go get them for me. The falafel, I bought some falafel. Um, so broth, I always make sure I have broth because I like to cook my couscous with broth. Me I talk like me I cook, right? I don't cook again, guys, because yeah. fell helped me out so much with dinner. And then I got a chickpea pasta, um, mac and cheese. I'm gonna try ten with this. As you see the stuff there, like one one when it comes down to ten, because we're trying new stuff. Her taste buds are changing every day, so yeah. And then I got this plant-based snack for me. Um, it is roasted garlic and herb. But you know anything with roasted garlic and herb tastes good. If it tastes bad, you just add a little peanut butter to it and we go to. And then I I've seen this the Dr. Prager's. I said I wanted to try her with it. Some days when I'm lazy, I'm not gonna make spinach or whatever. So she have it. These are little spinach bites. And you know they have different shapes and whatever so i've got one pack for her put that in the fridge and then yes it's cold and then she's having some crackers right now she's actually eating some of this right now um with hidden veggies and tia used to eat this brand a lot until she got big and she was that her dad introduced her to this brand actually um i think when i came from training this was the only thing that she yeah, was eating too, too yeah so she stopped eating it but I'm starting to lean on it, the Annie's brand, it's very good brand. And then I got some um, rails. Y'all know this is one of the best, 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 best uh, sauces, marinade that you can use uh, for your pasta or whatever, your noodles, your spaghetti, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it's very, more ex very much expensive than the, what the other one name again? It's in the fridge. I mean, I remember, we have it in the fridge. But this one, I've used it before, really nice, rich, and I got the tomato basil uh flavor and i got some chocolate chip cookies for tiasia we're not going to elaborate on that because the people that move over there so me put this in the fridge yeah that's your yogurt and then i got some i'm gonna just show them the picture i can't call it work because she's gonna go crazy i don't even know if i should show you guys I got some grapes <laughs> and then I got some of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. P O P C O R N because if she see it, that's it. So yeah, that's what I got. So in total, all of this came to $99. It was $110. And you know, as a prime member, you get discount. So yeah, that's what I got. And yeah, so the only thing I need to go to Publix now to get my veggies and fruits. Uh from a week i didn't use week last month so I'm, i need to go get that so i'm gonna put all of this away right now and then grab something to eat because i haven't ate all day I'm just a snack 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 which is not good so i'm gonna get me something to eat i was gonna take the girls to the library but i'm gonna reach home in time was gonna walk but the the the, the pollen is just too much um yeah you need to take no don't take it unless you're really yeah and then Tenil has a running nose. It's like every two weeks Tenil has a running nose and then get the food. So I'm gonna work on her with that. Um, but I know probably it's because of the humidity yesterday that we went outside when we went Easter, when we went egg hunting, and just the pollen overall is just really bad. So y'all, if your allergies are on you, just please be careful because it's just crazy here in Georgia. We went to South Carolina and it was really bad, but I think now it's for a time, so I'm gonna eat my dinner. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna have. So as y'all know, Fel does meal plan for me for the week. So she does four meals, four for me, four for Tiesha, four for Chris. Helps me also, I don't cook anymore. Don't say you don't cook, you cook like I cook. And cheese. But dinner, I don't have to say what's for dinner. And I got tired of Hello Fresh. But you said this already, right? Yeah. yeah. So with that being said, uh, what are you doing? You don't want any more? Huh? You don't want any more? 
Do you want a yogurt? Um, yeah, so dinner is set. We don't have to worry about dinner. So I'm gonna eat something now before me even take on to new for my brain. So yeah. We have to wash the grapes in here, Tasia. Oh, this must go in at the freezer too. Tell you, do you want the yogurt? I don't want yogurt, you want water? Yogurt. Who's going to you want? I don't know. You want the yogurt? Yeah. You. Yes, mommy? Are you sure you want the yogurt? Oh, I see her. Say hi, guys. Say hi, guys. So I'm giving her um, her yogurt. That's a good brand. Um, it's a very good brand. Um, this is what I. It's like the drink one, really. A, um, so a, low fat and all of that. The this is the actual yogurt. Yeah. Yogurt. That's and a then, drinkable one. Yeah. You want that one? Yes, it is that one. All right, here it come. Oh, oh look, it's your nail color, mommy. Oh, God. I'll go get a little bit. Then in the trash. Yes. Thank you, Sissy. So, y'all, yeah, now she having the yogurt, yogurt, because she, she, loves yogurt. she loves yogurt. And I don't mind because it's good for the gut. Well, this particular mm -hmm. one. <laughs> Not the sweet one, so I don't give them the sweet one at all. It's, a, it's like a cup. It's like a cup. It's just small with a red top on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sweet one. So this is the only brand, or sometimes um, can you even eat the, the chobani? Yeah, yeah but I only that. I only get chobani for Tasia and I because the sweet sweet one, nothing that good for kids. Oh, oh Too sweet God. man. You finishing already? I know I it. I know right. Oh God. Oh God, here. Yeah. I'm such a big essay. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. I wonder if Tenille has sensitive teeth in me. I'm proud of you, Tenille. Good job. Look at that. Okay. All oh, done. Oh, and a book? Huh? And a book? No, we don't need no more. God, you're gonna be um, keeping up the place. Oh no, it's all for God, Kiki. It's all gone. Why, Kiki? Why? I don't know if it's like at all. What do you say? Why is it all gone? You can take out a book and read to her. I'm gonna sit over here. Make sure you look what she's taking. Let me see that one, Tanio. I know. Let me see what it says. Okay, Sissy's gonna read it to you, okay?
I was in Florida, so hot. Now I am, I got to West Virginia and now it's snowing, snowstorm. Look at that, look at that. Look how, look how the floors are like, they're so big. Almost 84 in Florida yesterday and now it's 31 here. Look at that. Now I have all of this to deal with to get back. This is crazy. try to get outside and get loaded so I can get going before it get any worse. The look of this, it looks like it's about to get worse. Y'all stay tuned, stay blessed. Look at that. From hot Crazy. This is, I'm in West Virginia right now. This is what it looks like. And today is Thursday. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy. I'm trying to stay warm. Inside the truck is warm, but outside it's cold. All right, stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, so a few minutes ago, I show you what's going on, All right? I went out and I tried to get some of these wheels on, but as you can see, man, look at that. Look at that. It's coming down heavy. I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to see if I can get this load. My fingers are burning, but I want to show y'all how heavy it's coming down. They said it's probably going to be two to three inches. And I'm in Virginia mountains. I'm trying to clear these hills and get back in North Carolina where it's a little bit warmer going south because yeah the roads here is about to get crazy yeah it's about to get crazy so just want to show you guys what's going on there it is all right I'm gonna get my I'm gonna put my hand in these gloves I put it against my heater to warm up but my fingers are burning. So, all right guys, stay tuned. All right, and if y'all living over here, y'all be safe out here because it's about to get crazy. Ah! Oh my God. Y'all, so it is Thursday. I haven't caught up with you guys since Monday. It has been a busy week, but <laughs> but um i've accomplished a lot this week so all my orders are out um i have my last two orders to send to post office tomorrow but this the weeks are style and whatever i clapped down uh, about eight weeks eight weeks this week styling so it's thursday and i'm done for the week and i'm so proud of myself and i took out my hair which i thought it was gonna be so hard to take out but it wasn't so I got that out, washed my hair, and y'all see, I had this at the suite, so I just tie about my hair with this. And I am going to get a head massage right now. So we are literally today is the fourth, four, five, eight, two, two. So we have, we are, we are, we are twelve days from my birthday. 
so I'm gonna kind of treat myself but at the birthday I look very broke broke look very broke but I've always wanted to get a head massage and I've seen it on Instagram I saw somebody did it on Instagram first and I'm like yo I want to do that and I was reading up on it kind of know my love for reading my love for doing my research I'm like that I was reading up on it and it says whatever they use it helps with the migraine to alleviate the migraines so I'm like Tiana needs to tap into that so I asked my cousin Ashley oh, love her so much I asked my concierge Ash to help me look for a head spa In and she feet, did use the right lane to turn right and I made the appointment I was gonna go tomorrow but I really don't want to leave my house tomorrow which is Friday so I'm gonna go this evening because I still have time so I said you know what I'm gonna go this evening because they close at 9 and you know the night vibe and type of thing so I'm on my way there super excited turn right to um, I-985 South Atlanta super excited and it's not too far from me so i'm gonna go get me a freaking head massage like oh my god so i'm doing of course y'all know i'm extra so i'm doing the full package because no i'm not extra i'm very cheap oh my god i want him look up in a what the hell i'm very cheap but Chris taught me something when it comes on continue to straight for eight minutes to i-85 south when it comes on to massages and stuff like that always really and truly get what you want because you don't do it so often and normally the cheaper packages are like what did i just do so just go hard and done so it is not so expensive i must say but let me see what it entails and y'all know i'm not when we're done maybe tell them my honest review let's just say that but um we're going there now <laughs> We are on our way there now. We are 25 minutes out. It's 5.33. I have a 5.50. No, it's not 5.33. It's 5.10. And I have a 5.50 appointment. So I am early. So wash my hair and it felt so good. You know, but I'm getting another style next week. So stay tuned for that. And um, so yeah. So hope you guys are enjoying this weekly vlog so far oh my god and um i appreciate y'all i appreciate y'all so 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 much for the persons that do not leave my dm i have quite a few persons that are in my dm every day all day i appreciate y'all and um i love y'all for free seriously and i mean that from the bottom of my heart so thank you guys so much but um let's go get a head massage oh as for my shot they were supposed to call me yesterday and tell me if i should take the shot yesterday but i'm not your friend them i'm not your friend them today and i totally forgot so tomorrow morning i need to write a note or a reminder to myself when we stop me i go to that hopefully remember um for call the office because what the heck i paid my money i have the shots in my refrigerator so i need to know if i should start taking them because we have a goal to achieve so that's that but let me listen to some music and drive and go get me a head massage okay i've been there before what if i fight the fight blessing i follow you rain is a rain my own i a cup of Use the right lane to stay to the right to Pleasant Hill Road. Stay to the right to Pleasant Hill Road. Mama, mama. Alright, guys, so I am at the place. My God. Say. Listen, nobody can tell me they, don't, they weren't waiting on me with this handicap part, but. I have my bag, I have my tripod stand because I want to get content for you guys. So here we are. So this is where I'm at. Who oh, remember City Trends? I remember my mommy just started coming to America. She would have shop out City Trends for me. But this is where we're going. Um, 5.15, Tiana.
then my foot goes in this. Uh, dry. Okay. It's okay? Yes. You can mash so so see. Okay. <laughs> so okay. three minutes or five minutes. Okay. Uh baby, some water or hot tea. Water. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, so my foot is in uh I don't even know what is then put my foot in there and I'm telling the truth. This, in Jamaica, this is like a dirty water, but anyways, my foot is in some herbs and stuff, 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 <laughs> and just rubbing it on this thing for massage, really nice. Girl, two and watch there, but yeah, y'all get the gist.
let me tell you. When I said it was because of Charlie Lady time tired for me. Listen, let me tell y'all. If you haven't booked a head massage, head spa, massage, whatever they call it. Wait, I need to drink some water. If you haven't booked one, do it. This is your sign to book it. It's worth it. That's all I'm saying. It is worth it. Let me hit. Let me come go home because um, I really need to get home. I'm gonna take a nice shower and go eat my dinner and go straight to my bed. No long talking, guys. This was really good. This was really good.